We'll show you how to make a uh, photo collage with uh, GIMP Photo Editor. Um, if you've not got your layers window uh, showing, just go to uh, Windows, Dockable Dialogues, click on Layers. Next, go to File, New. Uh, Image size, this one's at 640 times 400 pixels. Click OK. And this is the background, it says background here. That means I want to paste some pictures into here. Uh, Colour it in if you want, or do some writing on it, whatever. Click on a nice green. Click OK. Then go to the uh, bucket fill tool, click on that, and then fill it in green. That's green. Next, go to File, Open as Layers, and go to your Pictures folder. Uh, select a picture and open it. And there it is. Um, what you can do here, I'm going to resize it. What you do, you you click on it here, make sure it's selected, right click, scale image, and then use the arrow up key, scale, it's made it bigger, or else you can use this tool, scale tool, click on that, and you can go all the way with, always with this, any way you want. When you're happy with it, click scale. That's sorted. Right, I'll select it again. Opacitor, meaning the same as transparency. You can use the slider here so you can see through the picture. Like this. Yeah. Uh, this tool, rotate tool, click on rotate. Then click on the uh, mouse over the image, click on it. You can rotate it. When you're happy with it, just click on rotate to finalise it. That's that done. Um, right, I'll import another picture. Go to File, open as layers. Click on another one, this one. Use my Move tool, Move, to move it. I'm going to scale it, make it different size, so I select it, right click, scale image, and scale, it's gone bigger. Now you can see this, you can reposition these uh, these pictures, this one's on top of that one, I can have it you know, underneath it, just highlight it. Make sure it's highlighted and click on the arrow down and that's gone underneath. See? It's gone underneath the picture. Yeah. Um I'll show you how to crop crop an image. Go to file, open as layer, layers. Select this one, go to your pictures folder, open a picture. Yeah, sorry about that, let, let me start again. Um, I want to show you how to crop a picture, go to file, go to open, click that same one again, click open, you'll see a separate window appear. It's on the back here, I've got to click on it. There it is, a separate one. I'm going to uh, scale this image to make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to go to Image, Scale Image. I'm going to click on the arrow up key. That's on 318's scale. And then I go to, I go to this tool, Paths tool. I click on that. And then I can click around it, just keep clicking around the area where you want. 
this for example and then finally that first one you clicked just click on it and that's finished next go to select select from path click on that next go to edit copy and that's copied this area close the page don't save and then go to edit paste into click on that and there it is and you can see it's become a floating selection okay to make it a layer you click on it and then click this in the corner create a layer and add it to the image click on that and you can see it's become a layer it's now a layer see um, don't forget there's other things you can do with it just make sure it's selected you can go to colors your preference here go color balance for an example and you can select the color change the color it's all a business um, and that's about it and when you when you're finished with it go to file go to save as um, it's untitled give it a name I'll just put photo and remember to give it an extension at the end this is very important uh, put dot jpg that stands for jpeg now if you don't do that if you don't put the dot jp jpg on the end or bmp or gif whatever the uh, the file will not save you, you not find it it will get lost it just not save so remember to put the extension on the end give it a name and then put dot jpg on the end and save and that was saved as a jpeg export give it a uh, hundred percent quality save and it'll be in that, and that's saved that's it when you go to your pictures folder let's go and have a look what it looks like pictures folder and there it is yeah okay hope you got all that hope you understood it all see you later